What's happening everybody, I'm John Ryan and I'm going to be showing you the basics of how to manually install mods into Fallout 4 on PC. First off though, a big old disclaimer, adding mods to any game means altering the game files and how it runs. Always make sure to back up your game files and that you're downloading mods from a trustworthy source. Now, some of you may be old pros at this, but for those of you just getting your feet under you or perhaps trying out modding for the first time, we're going to start off at the very beginning. The first thing that you want to do is make a backup copy of all of your game files. This will ensure that if something goes horribly wrong or if you need to uninstall a bunch of mods that maybe you forgot the locations of, you can start fresh without having to re-download or reinstall the entire game. For those of you who might be new at this, all you need to do is find the game's main files. In our case, it's located in C Drive, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Fallout 4. Make a new file wherever you want to store your backup. We're just using the desktop for now. Then select the game folder, right click and hit copy or use Control C, and then paste everything into that backup folder. You also want to make copies of your game's configuration files, which by default can be found in your Documents folder under My Games and then Fallout 4. Once you've done that, there's just two more steps to get through before you're ready to start installing your mods. In order to allow you to install and use mods in Fallout 4, you'll need to add a couple of lines to your configuration files, which again by default are found in Documents, My Games, and Fallout 4. First, open Fallout.ini with a text editor. You can just use Notepad if you don't have anything fancier, and scroll down to the Archive section and find a line that reads S Resource Data DIRS Final Equals Strings. And then copy and paste the text from below to add textures, music, sound, interface, meshes, and a bunch of other file types to this line. Use File Save or Control S to save the file, then open FalloutPress.ini. Scroll down to the very bottom or use Control F to find the section labeled Launcher and add the line B Enable File Selection Equals 1 directly below it. If for some reason that line already exists, make sure it's set to 1 instead of 0. And that's it! Now you're ready to start installing mods for Fallout 4, which you may actually find to be easier than you'd expect. Once you've found a mod that you want to install, uh, we're going to add the full dialogue interface by Kurosan and Shadwar as our example, which updates the dialogue selection menu to feel a little more like previous Fallout games. Sounds like fun. Go ahead and download the mod to whatever folder you want to keep your files in, then use a file extractor such as WinRAR or 7-Zip to copy the files into Fallout 4's data folder. This can be found in the game's directory folder, which by default is in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, and finally Data. This is essentially all it takes to install a mod manually, though special installation requirements may apply. For instance, the install instructions for this mod require us to change the S resource data line of the Fallout INI, but thankfully we already took care of that before we started to add any other mods. The only other thing to keep in mind is that since the official Fallout modding tools have yet to be released, you'll need to manually make sure that any plugin based mods you install are activated when you launch the game. You'll know your mod uses a plugin if you need to drop a .esp or .esm file into your data folder. Once it's been copied into your data folder, you can usually get the game to recognize it by opening the Fallout 4 launcher, and then closing it, and then relaunching the game. To be sure it does load into your game, however, you'll need to check the game's plugin file, which you can find by going to your user folder, and then opening the app data folder. If you can't find the app data folder, that's because by default it's actually a hidden file. To get it to show up, simply open the Tools menu from the drop-down bar and select Folder Options, then go to the View tab and select Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives under the Hidden Files and Folders section. Once you've taken care of that, open up your App Data folder and go to Local, then Fallout 4. Open up the plugin text file and you should see the desired plugin listed below the main Fallout 4 ESM. If you don't see it listed there, simply disregard the Please Don't Edit This message and add the file name underneath the main game file to force it to load when you launch the game. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully now you feel comfortable enough to start modding your copy of Fallout 4. Be sure to check out the full catalog of our favorite mods on our wiki, and if there are great plugins or add-ons that we're missing, let us know there or in the comments below. For everything else on Fallout 4, you're already in the right place here at IGN.